In 1981, John Rambo, played by Sylvester Stallone, a Vietnam War veteran, goes to a lake house in the American Northwest in search of his friend from his unit, Delmar Berry. Rambo soon learns from Delmar's wife that he has died a few months earlier from cancer due to Agent Orange exposure. He offers his condolences to the soldier's widow for her loss and gives her a photo of the pair and the rest of their unit, Baker team. Continuing his travels, Rambo reaches the town of Hope, Washington, looking for a meal and possibly a hotel to spend the night. The sheriff, Will Teasel played by Brian Dennehy, heads him off and drives him to the outskirts of town, explaining that he considers his job to keep drifters out of Hope. Neglecting the sheriff's warning, Rambo returns to Hope. Teasel arrests Rambo on charges of vagrancy, resisting arrest, and possessing a concealed knife. Led by the sadistic chief deputy Art Galt played by Jack Starrett, Teasel's officers Ward played by Chris Mulkey and Mitch played by David Caruso abuse Rambo, triggering flashbacks of the torture he endured in Vietnam. When they try to dry shave him with a straight razor, Rambo has a flashback to being tortured in a North Vietnamese POW camp and loses control, instinctively using his military training to beat Galt and his comrades. He fights his way out of the station, regains his knife, steals a motorcycle and flees into the woods. Rambo spills the cycle he stole and runs up past the tree lean. He finds an old sheet of canvas and some wire, making a tunic for himself. He ventures further up the mountain, into the forest. Teasel organizes a search party with automatic weapons, dogs, and a helicopter. Defying Teasel's orders, Galt attempts to shoot Rambo from the helicopter. Cornered on a high cliff, Rambo leaps into a tree, injuring his right arm. With Galt still shooting at him, Rambo throws a rock at the helicopter, breaking its windshield and causing the pilot to briefly lose control. Losing his balance, Galt falls to his death on the jagged rocks. Rambo tries to surrender to Teasel, saying that Galt's death was an accident and that he wants no more trouble, but the officers shoot at him, and he flees. Teasel and his deputies hear on the radio from another deputy from the sheriff's office that the man is John Rambo, a Vietnam vet who is a Green Beret, a war hero who won the Congressional Medal of Honor. In spite of his deputies telling him the lethal methods of Green Berets, Teasel swears revenge. Without you. Well, I'm ready when you are. Let's get going. Rambo quickly disables the small, disorganized team using non-lethal guerrilla tactics and booby traps, severely wounding all the deputies and takes one deputy's walkie-talkie. Rambo holds a knife to Teasel's throat. He threatens war if Teasel does not give up the pursuit, before retreating further into the woods.
Harbour. I'm really sorry about this. I'm going to the hospital. All right, come on, let's get this done. Damn it, Dave. What do you think? This kid just waltzed into town and announced he was a Congressional Medal of Honor winner, and then I just leaned on him for the hell of it? I think I tried to do him a favor. I treated him like he was one of my neighbor's kids. I did my job, Dave. I booked him for vagrancy and resisting arrest. You seem pretty well motivated on this one. Why don't you go out there and take a look at what's left of my men? You'll see just how motivated I am, Dave. And if that doesn't do it for you, why don't you go have a talk with Art Galt's widow? All right, Will. I read you. Listen, I got 25 men I can bring up from Monroe. All right, Dave, I can use them. We got a lot of ground to cover. The Washington State Patrol and Washington National Guard are brought in to assist Teasel, along with Rambo's mentor and former commanding officer, Colonel Sam Troutman played by Richard Crenna. Troutman is surprised to find any of the deputies still alive and advises that Rambo should be allowed to escape to the next town in order to defuse the situation, then be permitted to surrender peacefully later. You picked the wrong man to push. No, Troutman, he picked the wrong man. That boy's a heart attack. He may be the best that Special Forces ever produced. Now, whatever you're planning to throw at him here, he's been through a whole lot worse. In a lot worse places than this. Confident that Rambo is hopelessly outnumbered, Teasel refuses. He allows Troutman to contact Rambo and try to persuade him to give himself up. Rambo refuses to come in, condemning Teasel and his deputies for their abuse, citing that they drew first blood. Rambo switches the radio off. By the time the conversation ends, Teasel's men have triangulated Rambo's location on the mountain. Roger, we copy. Huh. That's the weirdest yet. The Don say he's traveling north and west, away from the road and up into the hills. Yeah. It's suicide. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah. Captain? Yeah, this is uh, command post. Would that be right, Troutman? Troutman. That is suicide. It's patience. Keeps cutting up and back and up and back and up and back until he finds that gap. And it doesn't make any sense to go away from the road. Dave, get back on the horn with the National Guard. Tell them to move north and west. Tell them to watch the gaps. Keep it closed up. At the entrance of an abandoned mine, a National Guard detachment corners Rambo. Ignoring Teasel's instructions to wait for his arrival, the guardsmen fire M-72 Law's rocket at him, collapsing the entrance and they assume Rambo is dead. Rambo goes deeper into the rat-infested mine. Rambo finds some old fuel and makes an improvised torch.
Thanks for the drink. Come on, I'll give you a ride to the airport. No, thanks, I can handle it. Well, I can't say it's exactly been a pleasure, Colonel. Have a nice life. Good luck to you. Yeah. He finds a way out, hijacks an Army M135 two cargo truck carrying an M60 machine gun and ammunition. In an effort to distract the officers, armed with an M60 machine gun, Rambo blows up a gas station, shoots out most of the town's power, and destroys a sporting goods store close to the police station. Troutman, understanding that the sheriff is outmatched, tries again to convince Teasel to leave Rambo B. The sheriff ignores his orders and attempts to locate and kill Rambo. Rambo spots Teasel on the police station's roof, and shoots him. Teasel falls through a skylight. As Rambo prepares to kill Teasel, Troutman appears and warns Rambo that he will be killed unless he surrenders, reminding him that he is the last survivor of his elite unit of Green Berets. Rambo vents about the horrors of war and his traumatic experiences, watching his friends die in Vietnam, being unable to hold a job due to his PTSD, the nasty treatment he received from his fellow Americans when he came home, and being forgotten by the country that he sacrificed so much for. He breaks down crying as he recounts how one comrade was killed by a Viet Cong child soldier using a shoeshine box wired with explosives. After being comforted by Troutman, Rambo surrenders and is taken into federal custody, while Teasel is taken to a waiting ambulance for transport to the hospital. Sometimes you get so mad you think you're going crazy. Then it goes away, that hot feeling. It's not going away anymore, and I can't control it, Colonel. And I can't spend the rest of my life in a cell either. If I gotta die, I want you to do it. Don't let them do it. You dream me.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos and don't forget to press like button and share.